So this is school brawl, slaps and dabs. Dab your way from 52 to the first coolest dude. By the way, that is some epic title art right there. Probably the most professional looking I've seen so far. It's pretty awesome. The little sparkle and everything. Got credits, it's a multi-person group. We play by moving around with WSD arrow keys. We gotta taunt enemies with E and salt them with Q and then we gotta... We have a special attack of a shift key. So yeah, options, we've just got stuff here. So it looks like a visual novel to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, but well, whatever. So we start the game and we are on this field. By the looks of it, we have our health bar here. We press E to call enemies in, and then we stun them with this, and then we go slap them. And that's how we become cooler, apparently, by slapping them. That's all we can manage though. Ooh, that was a little unfair, I think. Hi! Why are you spawning on me? Alright, so it's you get into the basic rhythm of basically spawn, insult, and then slap. But uh, I'm not sure how it works exactly. It seems a little bit inconsistent, but um, when you insult, you you move to a you, you move to a crawl, which is uh, make things makes thing a, make things a little hard to hit. And also the hitboxes and the slapping feels a little odd. That's a uh, that's uh, something that I noticed during my test run of this. So the hitboxes and stuff and the enemy spawning could be managed a little better. Because uh, other than that, it's a little tricky to deal with. We can mash the spawn button to call more enemies in. And we can dab on all of them. And that like eliminates a bunch of them. Okay, we can slap all of them. But of course, we take quite a bit of damage doing that, and after all, the enemies can start can like, oh, that was unfair. Enemies can start like stunning you back. So, gameplay-wise, it's a little finicky this movement controls, especially with the slows and everything. I'm also not sure how the slaps work exactly. Like, maybe I can't slap when I'm getting hit. But I'm not really sure. It's just overall a little finicky. I think I get to move faster only when uh, I get hit, and it knocks me out of my knocks me out of my stunning animation. It feels a little bit like it gets stuck on the enemies too, which is uh, neither here nor there really. I'm trying to be the coolest kid on town, but it's tricky. And also, I found out you can get hit by you can get hit during the dabs. So your ultimate does not render you invulnerable, which is a little annoying. So you've got barely enough time to get over them and slap them, and you can't stack the stuns. And you see, he hit me from over there, which is weird. So yeah, gameplay could tend to be a little more, uh, a little more refined. But dude, this music is <laughs> pretty darn awesome. It gets, gets hella exciting after a while. Oh boy, and I'm not even pointing out how the insults are. Broccoli even. But yeah, Buffon's finicky, um, but the aesthetics and everything are pretty darn awesome and it just makes it overall really cool. Oh boy. But yeah, it seems like they can hit me from really far away. Oh, and they're like causing multiple stuns too. Ow. Alright, alright. The dab's not really worth it, by the looks of it. Maybe if we only have one enemy on screen. So you sort of like get into the rhythm. You got you need ah, they can stun you back too. And also, it's like the animations are a little delayed as well. Like sometimes when they they shoot insult at you, it hits you, and then you get stunned like a, a bit later. Oh, that and that was rude. Yeah, enemies spawning directly on top of you. Not exactly the fairest thing. You can just run back and forth and try and slap them. Like so. Of course, if you keep doing it faster and calling more enemies at a time, you can raise the combo higher and smack them all at the same time. And then you'll get a higher score. I got a dab on this guy. Alright, I have like no life left. So I gotta play it safe. 
Alright, alright, slap him. Alright, I gotta know where he spawned from. Down there, insult him, slap him, and back away. Insult him, slap him, and back away. We're well, almost the coolest guy on campus. Almost. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I got more health back for some reason. Well, we can actually do this. I actually didn't make it make it to coolest dude earlier during my test run. But we might actually do it this time. Oh dear. Stun him, stun him, stun him. Uh, wrong way. Run, run, my dude. Run. Stun him. And then slap him. And then stun him. And then slap him. Alright, call call the guys. Oh, I got stunned too. Alright, gotta be careful. Stun him. Slap him. Ah, back away, back away. And then slap him. Alright, it's the last guy. We Stun him and then dab on him. There we go. We're the badass now, eh? Alright, just keep him there, keep him there. Alright, let's go in. Hit him. Dude, we did it! We are coolest guy on campus now. And we've got a final score of 970. Pretty awesome. But yeah. As I've been mentioning throughout, uh, there's a quite a lot of like hitbox finickiness that could benefit from another playtest or two, you know. Like with uh, stun timings and uh, where exactly the enemies can hit you from, or particularly where they can spawn from. Because they can spawn like in the field right next to you, they can hit you immediately. So... Yeah, but other than that, graphics are really well polished, sound is really well done. Overall, aesthetics wise and polish, this is just really, really well done game. Which uh, has me like pretty darn impressed. So yeah, we got something cool here. Just refine the gameplay a little bit and yeah. This is, uh, this has been really fun though, yeah. Alright, thanks game. Whoa. A studio logo. So this is Boli Guacamole. Get it? Holy? <laughs> so it's uh, two hours. <laughs> Slept together in two hours, eh? Okay. Um, I'm not sure what kind of game this is. So, uh, how do we play this? How how do we how do we play this? That is not how we play this. <laughs> I better look at the instructions. I should probably look at the instructions, yeah? I've lost all my guacamole. My guacamole survived for 16 seconds. <laughs> alright, alright. I better look at the instructions then. <laughs> alright, so it's just up and down. And we're supposed to not let our guacamole like, fall out of the bowl, I guess. Um, my guacamole is almost gone. Oh, okay, I, I get what we're supposed to do now. Sort of. But my guacamole is dead. Alright, alright. Let's uh, try this again. So we're just supposed to launch the bow out of the way. Like so. Wow. <laughs> we instantly lost all of it. Let's just raise as high as we can go first. One little shake ain't gonna lose as much. Alright, I, I guess we're supposed to bounce it? Yeah, sort of. Uh, but the guacamole is staying in this time, more or less. Earthquake! What happened to our guacamole? Where'd it go? <gasps> oh my god, we have one piece of it left. Oh my god, it's coming by so fast. Ah, we lost it. <laughs> Alright, one more go. It's a pretty simple game. Overall, drop. I think we just have to repeatedly bounce it up and down. Like we're tossing the guacamole. If we drop it back up, we can capture them. Oops, <laughs> apparently not. Avocado! Well, uh, this is a pretty uh, fun little thing. I mean, it's very, very simple. I can see it being a two hour game. But, uh, for it is, it's actually pretty fun. It's like one of those small mobile experiences or like a small flash game. And the polish is actually pretty not bad for something this simple. I mean it is using very simple graphics so that's to its benefit but other than that, yeah, bowly guacamole.
Right, next game. Alright, so we've got Charismatic Counter Punch. WSD to move, left mouse to punch, and right mouse to stylishly dodge. We've got those Kamina glasses over there. I don't think I don't see your tank in topper. So we dodge through cool shots to increase our charisma and our punching power. We gotta avoid uncool shots and we gotta punch enemies and metal shots. So that's pretty cool. Ours for next wave and peace will pass. So like so. And that's our matrix style dodge. And we can raise our charisma, which increases our punching power. Like so. What's this? Next wave? Oh, okay. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> that piano music, though. Well, I shredded it. So that's our next wave, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, those are uncool shots. We don't want to hit them. Oops. Just punch him. Nope, it's a pretty- oh dear. I think we died. And we've got max charisma. And we have huge punching power. But the punching power decreases. And then this will spawn more enemies. I think. My punching power isn't quite as powerful anymore. I can just shove these back at them. I've got more punching power, and we just punch our way through. Yeah! You know what, this is very simple gameplay, but it's got a sudden charm to it. It's pretty enthralling. Like, just the way the fist flies out forward and it flies back at you. Pretty darn awesome. Oh dear. Things are getting pretty whack out here. Oh boy. We're getting some bullet hell in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is like straight up bullet hell stuff. I recognize your patterns there, boy. Wow. So I'm not sure what wave we're on anymore. But yeah. As a simple explanation for its game mechanics, it's, uh, it does as well. Apparently this is also like a very simple, just proof of concept uh, build. Kind of like my game. Just to like show off the mechanics and stuff. And to that end, I think it does really well. I mean, just the core gameplay itself really here. It's got something it's got something pretty cool to it. It's just something about the way that the fist flies forward and you're hitting those enemies and the way they bounce back when you hit them. Like so. Because the dodging uh I feel like some of the bullets move by a little bit too fast, so if you want to get into melee range and then you pound them, you won't be able to charismatic dodge well enough. But other than that, that just needs a little bit more refining and maybe some better graphics. Like something a little more cool, but what they have right now, just the little particle effects flying out when you hit them, and the punchy sound effect that that sounds when you when you actually hit something, it makes it a pretty cool game overall. Yeah, even though it's rather unpolished, I can see this one having a lot of potential. It's just yeah, it's just the feel, the feel of the game, this punching. It just feels good, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, take this one and develop it. Uh, I saw that apparently you were planning to, so. Go ahead, you've got something cool here. Um, just work on it and hopefully we'll be able to punch more things. Yeah, alright. Charismatic punch. So this one is Last Viking Barber. We've got a couple icons down here that are showing things. So we're supposed to protect our barber shop apparently. Arrow keys to move players, spacebar to jump, keyboard one. Uh, activate spike follicle, which kills monks. Keyboard 2, activate the poison follicle, which kills mutated lies. And keyboard 3, I'm guessing these are the number keys. Uh, if the follicle fuel is charged enough, it kills both monks and mutated lice. This seems odd and wacky. Let's try it out. Hmm, no music though. Okay, so we're supposed to protect the... Spike follicle. Ah, I see how this works. So the poison will kill these, and regular spikes will kill these guys. And that, it's a power up that instantly kills things. I like the premise, the premise is wacky, and... 
Um, it makes for it's all right. Oh, they don't hurt you. the the monks don't hurt you. All right, the all right. We can flame on and whack all these guys now. Yeah, get away. No, don't touch my barber shop. This is my barber shop. All right, we gotta we gotta really protect our land right now. I've got way too many of these. Oh, I thought I'd loop around. I thought I thought I'd loop around. <laughs> oh well. I just noticed those spikes are coming out of his arms. That that does not seem how that does not seem natural. Why are these monks trying to kill us again? Is it because heresy? Or is it just uh, prejudice against uh, just prejudice against uh, I don't know. All right, flame on, and we're gonna wipe out this wave as soon as we can. All right, got a lot of poison right now. Okay, we just gotta put survive as long as we can, which is getting pretty tricky now, given how many people there. Are. I also can't. I also can't make my way out right now. All right, there's way too many enemies. Way too many enemies. Way too many enemies. Way too many enemies. All right, flame on, flame on. We're wiping everything. Hammer time. Yeah, give me give me some survival time. There we go. We're actually doing pretty okay so far. I'm not expecting it to last this long. Also, yeah, those follicles are coming out of his arms. Like I mentioned. I like the little announcer voices they gave this gave this guy too. Oh. I see it. Yeah, I see a hammer. I see a hammer. I like to get to it if I can, but it's going to be tricky. There's too many enemies nearby. All right, yeah, too many enemies. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh my, I'm, I'm about to die. The follicles failed. Oh no, but we survived for two minutes and thirty seconds. That's pretty awesome. That music, though. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this one's got pretty nice polish and everything, you know. And uh, that little announcer voice is pretty cool. <laughs> I do like it. And uh, gameplay is pretty fun. It's uh, survival. I think it ramps up a little quickly. But other than that, for a single level survival game, it's pretty cool. Um, if you were to expand it for more levels, you could like add more power-ups maybe, have a slower difficulty curve, and then you could have a couple more levels and it make for a bit more substance to the game, you know? Right now, it's a game gem build. It's, it's, good, it's good enough for a game gem build, single level survival, but it leaves me wanting more, you know? After trying it, it's like, ooh, this is really actually quite fun. I would like to, I would like to play a couple more levels of this. Maybe with the difficulty not ramping up so quickly. I mean, after, especially since uh, the enemies block your movement if you have the wrong type of follicle out. So you can't get to the hammers as quickly as you want, even if you could. Especially when they start to overlap, you know? But other than that, this one's pretty cool. Last Viking Barber. Try it out for yourself if you like. So next game then. Hot Duck Musty Back. I have no idea what to make of this. It looks rad though, and that music is rad. So I click start and we're given no instructions. No instructions. Um All right, we've got left and right movement and we've got space bar to shoot things. Oh my, oh my. This is ramping up way too quickly. My health is going. Ah. Ah ah ah. I'm supposed I'm a duck and I'm supposed to shoot these hogs which are shooting poison at me. I've got arrow keys movement. And uh, and space for fireballs. I could stand in one place and fire these fireballs. Those enemies track you perfectly from the from in the vertical position, though. I can't jump up and kill them anymore. What happens if you go up there? Can you go up there? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, game over. Okay, if this is indeed a single level game, uh, there are no instructions. No instructions on the game page either. But yeah, I think I figured it out. If this is indeed a single level game, then this is pretty much all we- Whoa! Spawned right next to him. The, the music is rad, <laughs> but it doesn't seem there's too much to it. I think we get, Did we just shoot down the enemy shot? I think we did. Whoa. Whoa. Um. Um. Well, well, alright then. 
Oh, all right then. I I can't move. Let me go, you monsters. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it then. <laughs> There's not much to say about this one. Uh, you're a duck shooting fireballs rapidly at everything in sight. I gotta say the power of these fireballs is pretty overwhelming and it's like whoa we're launching projectiles like a maniac and that's pretty awesome and I just fell below the map yes yes I did where am I the hogs I am off screen off to the left the hogs are powling up over there they're getting stuck on the terrain and uh, I think I just soft locked the game <laughs> oh dear but yeah, this is a pretty simple game. Um, there's not much to it though, so I can't really say much about it. The music is really, really hype, and uh, other than that, um, it's pretty simple, I guess. It works, except when you glitch out a level. But uh, it could use uh, some refinement, particularly in the projectile area. I'm just seeing how big this hog power can get right now. Whoa, they moved, they moved. This one hell of a traffic jam. Can the whole screen fill up with hogs eventually? Probably. But yeah, those green fireballs are traveling pretty fast. It's a little hard to avoid them, but uh, I guess we could have shot them down. That is uh, what happened just now, after all. But um, the hogs themselves, they die pretty easily, but they can swarm you because uh, physics happens. Like right now, for instance. Physics, physics is happening right now. <laughs> the whole power is getting shoved. There are more hogs getting slipped underneath the front this is actually <laughs> you know what this is really amusing I, I kinda just wanna stay here and see the whole screen get filled up with hogs now is that a game in itself? look at the little dog power down there in the gap things are not things are not PG for these guys right now yeah I can't even move back right anymore well, I'll just leave this to get filled up with hogs for a bit. Good god, what have I done? No, make it stop. Make it stop. Lord, Lord Almighty. They're falling to the floor. They're falling to the floor and they're compressing into each other and the whole power is vibrating and there's an endless sound of vibration as more and more bullets are being fired. This is... This has gone This has gone quite far enough. Um, We're moving on to the final game now, alright? Be gone, the cursed game. Alright, this is the last game we received in our form to play, and thus this will be the last game that we are covering. Yawn delay. Uh, we've got four Johns, apparently, and we've got Coco. Is this a multiplayer game? Hmm. Everyone has a different movement input. WSD, TFG, HIJKO, and the arrow keys. we got to turn numpad on. We're supposed to drag all Johns to bed. And the Johns are supposed to try and stay awake. Seems. So. Oh, it's a multiplayer game. It's a multiplayer game? Hmm. Alright. Um. Alright, so. We've got a. I'm trying to move Teddy, but he, he ain't moving. So that puts them to sleep, it seems. And we're trying to mash the button to try and get up, I guess. Yeah, this is a multiplayer game. That means I can't really fully review it by the looks of it. Oh well. But I think I get the general gist of it. So, yeah, I guess I'll just do a cursory explanation. So, look, the four Johns are supposed to try and move around and stay awake. And Coco is supposed to drag all the Johns back to bed. So left click is to yawn and right click is to click the bed and drag them, click the players and drag them back to the bed. But we need to turn the numpad on in order to move Coco. So yeah. Well, since this is a four player game, five player game really, I can't really do much of this, but yeah. Kind of an anticlimactic way to go out on this thing, huh? But hey, we've got nice ending music. <laughs> So this has been Butters Butterscotch Shenanigans. Jam, um, it was a fun experience, uh, I had a lot of fun playing everyone else's games too. If I didn't get to your game, I apologize, um, I'm still in the middle of a pretty busy period and I'm just recovering from Ludum Dare 38 as well and a bottle of illness here and there so I haven't been able to play as many games as I wanted, but really uh, we covered 26 games. Um, 
which is a decent amount. Especially since I go pretty in depth. I, mean, I know some other people have been like playing literally every single game. This is one group that's been streaming it, which is pretty cool. I just don't have that amount of time right now. So if uh, you were hoping for me to play your game and I didn't manage to get around to it, I apologize. But hopefully you have more luck next time. I usually open up a form, but like for people to like sign in their games for me to play like during these kind of things. So if you want, you can always just try your luck at the form. Hope that you get in. I cover them on a first come first of basis usually. And I guess that's about it. That's all I have to say about uh, Butterscotch and Energem. So peace out everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Carl out. Mm -hmm.